we very quickly figured out that the key failure is the human. How do we understand that human factor in that process from you know, start to finish? And how do we now um, design the system process redundancies that it covers for the human failure? Because the human will fail. The human will fail. The total systems work that we're doing, it's, it's really focused on um, understanding um, system design and system engineering. Really think more about this. We have, now have um, a human factors division at ECRI, which is really exciting for us because um, we know that to be able to successfully re-engineer system design in healthcare, you have to understand the users of that system, um, i.e. physicians, nurses, patients, families. And so we now have a team of human factor experts, and we're really starting to look at not just the way the systems are designed, but we're looking at the clinical process workflow. So we build redundant systems, we build machines, we build machine learning, we need artificial intelligence, photo systems, visual systems, whatnot. So if we see we have a 20% failure rate for a human, we better make sure that our processes are stable enough, right? And, and so when we started that thinking, we said, okay, now we got something, but we didn't have that expertise. So we bought this expertise in house now, and we have you know consolidated the other expertise around it, so we can really look at it not just from a human machine interface, but more holistically.